Okay, we're going to work with the TI Inspire CX once again to help us solve a problem. Uh, this is one that uh, uh, was very difficult for the students that I tutored this summer. And uh, so let's go look at it. So Natasha is planning a school celebration and wants to have live music and food for everyone who attends. She has found a band that will charge her $750 and a caterer who will provide snacks and drinks for $2.25 per person. If our goal, her goal, is to keep the average cost per person between $2.75 and $3.25, how many people P must attend? Well, what we have here are ranges, right? We have ranges of number of people attending. And that should correspond with our range of prices. Of course, the more people who attend, the cheaper, right? Because the band is a fixed cost. No matter how many people attend, that's the same. So if this were the correct range here, uh, the $2.75 would correspond with the 325 people, and the higher cost would correspond with the lower. Okay. Now, the hard part about this is getting the expression right. And I want to focus on this right here, average cost per person. When I see cost per person, when I see that word per miles per gallon, I think of a division problem. So I am going to actually put cost. And below that we'll put person. So what we need to do is find the total cost and uh, we need to divide that by the number of people attending. So we're going to set up a division problem. We know that the band is a fixed cost of $750. We know that the snacks are $2.25 per person. So it varies with the number of people. So I'll write 2. $2.25 times the number of people. And how many people are attending? Right there. And that was probably the most difficult part of this. So let's now go, now that we have the equation, we're going to go to our calculator. All right. So now we are going to go to a view that includes a graph. We're not really going to use the graph. Uh, we're going to use the table, but let's enter our equation in. Now remember, we need to put parentheses around the top expression. So we have 750 plus, we're just going to use x as a variable, 2.25x, close my parentheses. And we're going to divide that by the total number of people. Click enter. <laughs> See nothing. Don't worry. Uh, we, we could readjust this, but we're, we're, we want to look at the table here. So I'm going to go to a uh, table and split screen view. And now I have the values for what it costs if there's one person going. The total cost is, or the average cost is $752.25. And as you can see, as more people attend, uh, the price goes down. Of course, we're pretty far away. Now, I could go and scroll, and if you use this, you can scroll pretty quickly. And as you can see, we've got a ways to go. Okay, so let's start. We're at 432 people, and it costs $3.98 roughly. We know that that's out. Okay, we can keep scrolling. Another thing we can do is this. If you get tired of scrolling, we can go to the menu and table and edit table settings. And I know that uh, I'm pretty close to 500 where I am, so I, I'm going to try another value. I'm going to zip right over to, let's, uh, let's go over to 750. And click OK. And we're just, uh, just above that, so I'll just uh, scroll up. Ah, there we go. If 750 people attend, the price is $3.25. And you notice as if we go closer to 1,500, okay, and we can, we can do that. We can uh, check that out. That should come to $2.75. So I go to Menu, Table, Table Settings, 
And I'm going to go to 999. And what do we have? A 1,000? Oh, I meant to go to 1,500, so we need to go up further. So again, we will go to Menu, Table, Table Settings, and I'm going to go to 1,499. That's going to get me right in there. Click OK. And there we have it, the $2.75. The choice is 4. Seven, uh, 750 is greater, less than P, which is less than 1,500.